Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. Welcome to the Monday morning, 9 a.m. hub call, where we talk about all the great things that we are doing in Fresno, California, what we've done last week, what we hope to do in the future. We have the one and only Patrick Kim. How are you doing in the upper left corner? I'm well, Mike. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing very well. We've got Carlos down out on a job site in the lower left. How are you doing, buddy? All right. Awesome. Doing great. Awesome. And then we've got the one and only Stratton Brown pulling uh, closed out on. I think you're in the backyard, too, I think. Yeah. Very, very cool. So, uh, Stratton, we will start with you today. You are part of the uh, triumvirate of uh, real estate experts really out there motivating and helping people uh, in, in the Fresno Central Valley for years now. You, Jason and Dean. Uh, looks like the three of you uh, partners up with some others are trying to do a huge event in november we're yes. having a little bit of difficulty getting a location but uh fingers crossed we may have a location uh, identified in the next couple of days tell us about it oh man i hope we get i i want the table mountain location honestly i think that one me too yeah i think that one will be awesome um so we are trying to host a real estate event with 800 to 1000 people is what we're shooting for um we're gonna have some really amazing guests come in or well, we do have, so we have Pace, Morby, and Jamil Damji coming in. They have been awesome. They flew in, what was it, two years ago right before the pandemic. And, I, and we filled up all of Bitwise Stadium, and now their brand is even bigger. And then we're going to have a couple other speakers come in. Man, I'm just excited. I think we're going to put together, like, the biggest event of the year at a really low ticket to where people are going to get access to something that, like, generally, yeah. I mean, even for my event alone, It'll cost like 2500 bucks a ticket. And I mean, we're going to have all the speakers from my event coming and Pace and Jamil. And we'll probably add on a couple more with some awesome panels. Like the amount of education you'll get from that room, the networking is going to be absolutely astronomical. Yeah. Um, I want to be very clear, just in case people may have missed her, that uh, Stratton is putting on a mastermind event where the tickets to that event is $2,500. It's a two-day event, deep dive, very focused. The ticket he's talking about for this November 12th event, I think we're talking 20 bucks. It might be 25 bucks, yeah. right? It, and, and oh, by the way, folks, once, we, once Stratton covers cost, we're doing a donation to one or multiple charities. So this is not a exactly. profit thing. We are simply taking a little dollar commitment to make sure you show up because we have learned that free does not get asses in seats. Free gets you to register. Free does not get you to show up. So shame yeah. on you. We are charging 20 bucks maybe even 25 bucks, but we are going to have the one and only Pace and Jamil. We're going to have other surprise guests. We are going to not talk about what happened the last two years. We are going to talk about what happens the next two years. The last two years, it was easy. The next two years are going to be hard, but as somebody who's been through hard cycles multiple times, real wealth, life-changing wealth is created in hard times. You either can sit on your ass and be scared or figure out what to do, get around amazing people that are doing it and proving it every day. This November 12th event will change lives. And, dude, I got to tell you, a 1,000 might be light. But, you know, if we want to start with a 1,000, that's okay. So, Stratton, thank you for being a leader. Thank you for, uh, uh, you know, squatting up with, you know, and, and sharing with Dean and Jason. That choice years ago is why there could be a thousand member event. If you guys had chosen oh, yeah. to compete and, and, you know, do all that nonsense, which you could have done, which many other people do. Um, it's going to be awesome. There's a tagline for this event that I think is being proposed. Do you remember what that is? Well, it's collaborate and dominate, right? Collaborate to dominate. I think collaborate to dominate is what it, I mean, because, and this is what I love about our group is like, Dean is one of my closest friends. And then we have Jason too. And like, we have a group chat of like, all right, how are we going to do things? And then I, I just don't know anybody else in the industry besides like the Arizona people who have no. such a strong community like we do. No, like, I, I mean, I can call Brad on the phone and if I need something and he's going to help me out to where not very many people of that caliber in any community are really going to help, like help you, right? We have such a strong community here in Fresno. I think it's amazing. Yeah, and one last thing, and we'll, we'll go to Patrick next. Uh, one thing about this event and why I think Fresno is special, let me say this very clearly. If you are in the Silicon Valley or the Bay Area, if you are in L.A., if you're in Vegas, 
and you don't come to this event, you suck. You suck. You suck. All right. That's enough with that. Stratton, uh, we may come back to you in a minute, but thank you for doing this. This event is going to change lives. You are a leader of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Patrick. Yes, sir. Uh, as you know, one of the things I'm trying to do at the hub is help FHA buyers, yep. VA buyers, uh, house hackers. Absolutely. Um, frankly, we need more. Again, folks, I want to be very clear. I am not asking for your real estate agent's commission. I am doing this because I want to document your story. I want mm. to document your story of using a first-time bone buyer program, FHA, the ins and out, the losses, the inspect, all of it, because your story of winning can help thousands of other people. So if you are an FHA buyer, if you are a house hacker, Love if it. you are a VA buyer, I want to hear from you. I don't care if you have an agent. Great. I still want to interview you. I want to interview your agent. I want to do this in Fresno. I want to get 10, 15 people before the end of October so that we can share wow. around the world and then we can um, you know, maybe grow this initiative to around the country. The hub is the spot. Patrick, you're at the hub. You are a part of this. I understand we have our first person that reached out and said, I want some help, Patrick. Can you help me? I believe his name is Joshua. Tell us about Correct. Joshua. I want to interview him. I want to get the story out, and then I want to help him. I want to help him. I want to help you. Uh, I see this a three-part series. Interview understand where you are check in in six weeks where you are check in in 12 weeks how'd it go uh but patrick tell us about joshua yeah absolutely he uh reached out to me not long after he saw the uh zoom meeting uh recording and uh the guy sounds like he's a go-getter he's passionate about it he's full of so much uh, excitement and literally after this call i'm gonna be getting in my car and uh gonna go meet him so he's a young guy super excited he's totally down to get interviewed. So can't yeah. wait. This, this is what I want. Again, folks, I want, I want all of this by the end of October, the first interview, who are mm -hmm. you? What do you do? What are you trying? And again, I want to be very clear. I am not under any fool's guidance. I don't know that we can help everyone, but we are going to try. Sure. And if we can't help, we're going to document why we can't bad credit lost job. Who knows? I have no idea yeah. where this is going. I want to help this person, this family, and then that story will help others. So Patrick, uh, loved, loved the meeting with Joshua. And I think you told me Joshua is a very interesting case because we are talking FHA first time home buyer house hack, which is going to be pretty correct. Awesome. Correct. And yeah, he might find some value sexy. with the four plexes that we're talking about today. So I'm going to present that to him. We'll see. We'll see where yeah. it goes. So let's just give some rough numbers. You've found a couple of four plexes that might be interesting for folks. Give us the you know rough details, folks. If you want more of this, we will give Patrick's contact e email or details at the end. Go ahead. Correct. Yeah. So from the last uh, Zoom meeting last week, uh, you asked me to look up some fourplexes and I got two beautiful fourplexes. They're both priced basically, you know, 50 bucks apart, just under 600,000. Um, the first one is in a great location of 285 West Holland in Clovis. That's 612, not 619. Fourplex uh, in Clovis? Correct. I like it. All right. Four units. There's two, two ones. So two bedroom, one bath. And there are two one ones, one bedroom, one bath. Uh, they, uh, have listed at the, uh, their expenses are listed just under 10 grand. So at 99.22 income is at just under 34. So 33.87 and their net profit is at 24,000 a year. So that's again, 612 Clovis. And the second one is also a great location, tower district. Okay. Whoa, that, tower, that's getting, yeah. it's growing. It's getting it's right around so the hub. Yeah, exactly. 1293 North Linden. 1293 North Linden, 93728. Uh, again, 600,000. It's a six, well, six bedroom, five bathroom uh, total. Um, there's a, there's one, three, two. That's getting rented at 1500 bucks right around. Two, one, ones and one studio, just under a thousand bucks that are getting rented for each. So um, the numbers on those expenses is 17,000 income, 50,000 net 32,000. Yeah, this is, this, this is, um... Man, I, I can't wait to just document stories and help people. Um, again, we can run numbers. We can bring out, like when we interview them, we're like, hey, I need a mortgage guy. We can get Matt the mortgage guy. I mean, there's so many things we can do to help people to make sure everybody learns and moves forward. And I do want to correct oh, yeah. something last week. You brought something that I thought might be off. Looks like you have done some homework and you were right. I was wrong. So tell, tell us about the FHA seller credits. 
Yeah, I always love learning new things as well. So uh, last week, our tip was that FHA buyers, many of them don't know that you can get up to 6% of credits towards the purchase, whether it's for closing costs or uh, to buy down the rate, which is extremely uh, uh, useful right now. Um, and so, um, so piggybacking off of that, okay, um, the reason why it's limited at 6% is lenders see anything above 6% as an inducement to purchase. An inducement to purchase, basically, it's along the lines of a bribe to convince somebody to purchase a property for personal property uh, being attached to the contract. And that is why a lot of the times a lender will come back to you and say, uh, hey, I need you to remove this from the contract. I, yeah, that's great. So inducement to purchase is a no-no. And uh, yeah, 6%, guys. So just keep that in mind. It can help you guys a ton with the rate. Awesome. Got, we, uh, again, I hope, I hope people are in Fresno watching this. I know there needs to be five, eight, 10 more FHA buyers that Patrick is helping because I want to interview. I want to help you. I want to have my entire resource team help you get a deal done so we can help others. So, so Patrick, thank you so much. Carlos, over to you. How you doing, buddy? Doing well, guys. Doing well. I'm here at a job site. And so uh, yeah, my bad on the timing. Oh. You, no, you should always be on a job <laughs> yeah. site. This this is yes. an extra yeah. phone call. Do you do you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I gotta I gotta admit, last week was my bad. Uh, last week I didn't give you an opportunity to talk about uh, if somebody because there's a lot of people that watch this channel that have rental units right. looking to buy rental units. I yeah. failed. My bad. Sorry. But how would people <laughs> reach out to you to get a quote uh, to get some work done? Because you do work for me. You do work for the hub. Yes. How do you want them to do that? Yeah, uh, definitely. You can, you can call at uh, 559-681-8431. That's uh, 559-681-8431. I do want to let people know I do service the uh, Fresno area, Clovis, Madera area. Uh, anything further than that, it's just, uh, it's just too difficult to make it on time. And, no. uh, and, yeah. Car we got to keep yeah. Carlos in Fresno, Clovis, and Madero. Uh, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not letting him go anywhere else. That, that's yeah. too much driving. Too much driving. It well, is. tell us yeah. about the job site you're at. Is this uh, one of yours or not? Uh, no, this is actually a client that found us on our online on awesome. on Google. Yeah, and um, they reached out to us as here in actually in Sanger, California, nice. and we're doing some. Uh, we had actually it was an emergency. They had a leak in their. Uh, backyard, and we fixed it. Let me show you a little bit if that's this. Oh, in the yard, okay like a, yeah, of course, like a sewer pipe yeah. or something. What do you mean? No, no, it was a water line from oh, okay. the uh, yeah. So, what we did here, let me show you right here, is that uh, we opened up uh, the stucco. I don't know if you can notice, yeah, I see it yep. right here, yeah. And so, we repaired it. Now, we I'm here today to, to patch up the stucco. And um, there's other stuff that we're going to be doing inside the home. I didn't ask permission for the homeowner or else I would walk inside and, and show oh, you guys. But yeah, okay. but yeah, this is stuff that we, we definitely can take care of. Uh, if you are a new landlord, if you're a, a you know, a, a long term uh, landlord who's been doing this and you're looking for a, a reliable and affordable handyman, give us a call and we would definitely yeah. take care of you. I can't give you any, any higher praise. You do work for me. You do work for my hub, my office. So if that means anything to you folks watching this, give them a call, get a quote. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, worst case, you're going to meet a, a wonderful young man uh, in a great <laughs> team. Even if you do the job yeah. with someone else, you're going to meet some pretty wonderful people. So yes. Carlos, uh, how about that uh, duplex? Is that still in escrow? I think we heard the good news last yes. week. Yes. Yes. Uh, actually, my land, my uh, realtor, uh, said it's like oh hey i feel kind of sus there's no everything is running smooth everything's, ah, everything's well. good yeah that's okay yeah, that's all right that, yeah. that, that, that we expected that. a little bit of difference so you know uh i guess yeah. you guys say is like oh, i don't celebrate until the check is in the bank oh so. yeah good, good karma <laughs> take it but yeah, yeah don't celebrate yet yeah. that's awesome exactly carlos yeah. thank you for doing this again folks he does work for me for the hub uh, if you're looking for you know just again part of what i tell you in my orat rules is networking worst case yes. reach out to carlos Add him to your list of handyman. It doesn't ever hurt to have another one. Carlos, one more time. What's the yes. phone number? 559-681-8431. Uh, five, five, That's 559-681-8431. Five, five, awesome, man. Sorry I didn't do last, last week. My bad. Ty, we're going to you uh, next because Adam that. was late. <laughs> I love it. Good morning. Mon Money Monday. Let's get Mon it. Monday, Monday. So uh, what's going on? Uh, you, you were talking to some folks uh, at going to the hub, being a part of your team. I know you're looking to add some agents, perhaps. 
Uh, we need to get you in there. We need you taking two or three offices and just really getting the flow of action going. What's going on? Yeah, so we are building a real estate, real estate agent broker team, meaning realty work, right? So listing sales, being a complimentary service to the existing people that are at the hub. Um, so I'll just give you an update. Good news. We have Emma, excuse me. We have There's Gabby and Norma. Line. Yeah, Gabby and Norma. And then she also has a friend, Emma. She's local. She's starting this week. She's going to start door knocking. She is nice. not licensed yet. She does intend to, had planned to get a real estate license anyway. She's looking to connect with investors, connect with other people, but she's going to start uh, door knocking pre foreclosures. So that's probably the most exciting. And she's bringing a friend with her. So um, super cool there. I know Patrick, Joshua, I was in a thread with you. So that's, uh, that's awesome that Patrick's meeting with Joshua. I was communicating Absolutely. with him too as well. So that's awesome. Thank you, Patrick. And glad you're picking him up and taking care of him. Um, the thing I, I want to share probably that I think is um, maybe slightly different here. And this was interesting. So I have a person out of Southern California, a friend of mine named Aaron. And Aaron reaches out to me on a Friday says, Hey, I've got somebody, um, sub two, blah, blah, blah. We get on a call, help me work on this. We get on a call Saturday morning, we get on there. And this is the reason why I want to share this. This was the first of that I've had in probably 15, 18 years where I get on a call and basically to me, like a first call and this person totally surrendered, totally a perfect win, win, perfect fit for a sub two deal. And let me explain. She bought the property in the early spring. She's got a really good fixed interest rate. I, I believe about 4%. Okay. Great property. Did not make her September payment. I'm looking at the house. You still see the house from Zillow, realtor.com. The house is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Perfect. Somebody had rehabbed it. Not sure if it was a flip or a homeowner, but the house is in great shape. Complete turnkey. Basically, her husband leaves her. She's single income. She's moving back to where she's from, closer to her family, is going to rent, but is basically under this stress. How do I get out from under this mortgage? I don't want to ruin my credit. How do I get out of this thing? And so, again, a perfect win-win of sub two, taking over the payments and doing a deal like that. So, again, I had not seen that in, like I said, 15, 18 years. And so the fact that this just kind of happened, in my opinion, I wouldn't say by accident, but literally my friend Aaron just happened to bump into her making some cold calls and whatnot. Yeah. And it just happened to fit to where helping her, yeah. but obviously having an opportunity associated to it. So why do I bring that up? Because those are the kind of opportunities with creative financing, subject to seller financing, that is based on where we're at in this economic cycle. Yeah. This is just the beginning of this. And so I think now more than ever, we need to be collaborative. I don't really care. I'm helping her. I'm helping Aaron. He, he and I don't even talk. Am I going to stay in the deal, be with them? I don't really care. Honestly, if he just does the deal by himself, I'm completely cool with that. But the fact that we're seeing those kinds of opportunities pop up, yeah, we need to all have a consciousness that, hey, these are going to happen and we need to show up with the right tools in the right toolbox. So there's a couple of things I want to make very clear. One is you're absolutely right. We, we are on the cusp of perhaps the worst economic year of my adult life, which is saying something. Uh, we are going to see thousands and thousands of these in, in major markets across the country, including Fresno. And I want to be very clear. My vision for the hub is, you know, like we talked about with Patrick and, and you know, FHA, VA, you know, house hack. The other side of the equation is I want people to come to the hub that are in that situation. My husband, my wife just left me. I can't, I can't do this. I have to move. I want the hub to become a place, even if all we're doing is giving them a form letter to request forbearance. I want to become that spot that people come for help. Now, yes, I am not confused. There will be some money made sometimes. There will be pennies that fall out. I am work, worried about helping people. I am trying to play for a legacy, not a couple of pennies. So I do, I, I agree with you this coming and back to tying to Stratton. This is what we're going to talk about at that November 12th event. You don't have Pace and Jamil, the best of the best in the industry, keynoting the presentation and not take away all of this stuff. Would you agree, Stratton? 
Oh yeah. And I mean, the, these are the, the creative finance and sub two opportunities are the ones that are coming. We put out two owner finance offers on storage facilities last week. Of, and the people are like, I want owner finance. Like I, I this is what I'm looking for. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, the opportunities are coming. Yeah, totally agree. Awesome. Thanks buddy. All right, Adam, how you doing buddy? We out for a walk. I'm doing great. Yeah. I had a little appointment this morning, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd, I'd do it just like Stratton and go off for my walk in the morning, get my juices flowing a little bit. So, um, but yeah, good morning to you and everybody. Sorry. I'm a little bit late. That's okay. So I want to, I want to catch people up on what, uh, what I'm thinking and how you help me, how, how, Again, using this community, the hub, uh, and, and the tools and apps. Like we have this thing called Prop Stream, uh, mm-hmm. and one of the things that I believe I put out a video I think ten days ago about buying a million dollar property in Fresno uh, as a seller financing and and rental. I've never looked at it right. My most expensive rental house is like three hundred grand, something like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm fishing in new ponds. Uh, so again, one thing that you helped me with, and again, just walk the logic through. Uh, there's a very expensive, I consider it the most expensive part of Fresno. I don't know what you guys think. 93730. Am I yeah, close? One of pretty them. pricey, right? Most yeah. expensive new, new, like new, like that's yeah, like the new, new money. Fresno. Yeah. New yeah. money. Right. So, so that's a zip code, new money, new construction, 93730. So I asked Adam, who was gracious enough to, you know, take a call for me on Sunday. I think it might've been Saturday, actually, whatever. And I said, Hey, that's how Jesus. many free? Yeah. So, so it must be Saturday. Uh, so how many free and clear properties do we have? Single family, 93730. He uses PropStream like 800, 1,826. I'm like, ooh, that's a big list. How many of those are listed? Like 36. I'm like, ooh, get me that list. Because again, I can look at those lists. I can look how many days on market. Who are they? Call the agents, work out the agents. Say, hey, just so you know, I'm a buyer, but I'm a buyer this way. I'm a buyer. I'm a buyer this way. That won't work today because I don't think the market has slowed down enough. But, dude, the luxury market across the country and Fresno is not exclusive is going to slow down. Mm-hmm. And I want – dude, I – like, if you read my first book, One Rental at a Time, I, I 1031 houses to apartments. There's a chance I 1031 first-time own homeowner homes to luxury rentals. There's a chance. I, I'm going to do it once. I don't know if I do it a lot, but these are the things you have to, in a, in a market that is slowing down, where rates went from three to seven, you have to hunt it in new spots. And as Stratton, Stratton just said about um, storage, I'm going to buy some stuff, seller financing, and it's going to be some nice, pretty new stuff. So uh, Adam, thank you for helping me with that. What else is going on in your world? How's your Chachilla project going? course we actually should be um we had a, a little hiccup at the end but we should be listing it today actually i gotta double check with chris so that'll be a good thing maybe i can shoot you the uh the link for the call notes or the listing notes at some point uh, but that's going good i think the biggest thing is kind of like ty was talking about we're trying our hardest to find people with real motivation that we can actually help out um and that have real problems i think that's been our biggest issue right now is actually finding people that we can really help um And like Ty said, you know, finding people with, you know, a real win-win situation like that, that's been kind of a struggle, to be honest with you. So I know maybe people in the the audience can't necessarily help with that, but that's just kind of being open. One thing that we've been struggling with Um, and shoot, if anybody out there in the audience has leads or, you know, people that they need help with, I'd be happy to work with them. Um, Slot up. Yep. Yeah. My email, I think for, for contact is Adam at Kingdom Investments, Inc., INC uh com so yeah i'm happy to help i got another call this week from somebody on the channel it means nice. somebody's listening or i got the prettiest face out of everybody here i don't know one of the two but people are calling so i like it adam so. throwing shots <laughs> well adam so. do me a favor uh, again give your email one more time and the reason i want you to do that is we're going to do this wrap up now so everybody will get the chance um but one of the things i want people to hear is we are going through right now what's called a transition in the market all transitions are messy, all transition buyers and sellers. Nobody knows what's going on. Where you are at right now, your honest reflection is the truth. It's hard for everyone. I know you, we've been together a long time. You're doing the work. It will get better. But the reason it's going to work for you, Adam, is because you give and you help. So if somebody has a lead or an opportunity or wants to talk about what's going on and you know, maybe you know, work with someone like Adam, the pretty one on the call, 
How do you want them to reach out? Yeah, email is best, Adam at Kingdom Investments Inc. That's Kingdom Investments Inc. Inc.com. Um, and yeah, I can tell with everybody on this call, everybody wants to help people. That's the best part. So yeah. I love it. Yeah, I uh, I look forward to the time. It's probably two months out where we start the call with how many people did we help. Uh, that will that's my goal. That's my mission to get to that point. We're not there yet, but we will get there. Ty, if somebody wanted to join the hub, they want to be a part of your team. They wanted to get investments in education, become a hybrid rep, do all of these amazing things in your network and mine. How do you want them to reach out? Yeah, best way to reach me is email ty at tylg.com. It's here right there, ty at tylg.com. And a couple of things, what we're doing with agents, realtors, what we're teaching is the hybrid model. So we're teaching realtors how to also invest, become your best client, but also the tools and the ability to have access to myself, as well as this entire network, Michael Zuber. So again, all about collaboration, all about squatting up. To me, just the opportunity to do a uh, passion project is the way I would describe it with you, Michael, is why I'm going to Fresno. Also to collaborate and be with the best of the best. So totally looking forward to hearing from anyone out there who's watching this. Thank you. Uh, let me just be very clear on the agent front. If you are an agent and all you're worried about is listings and, and purchase contracts, you might be working at Starbucks in six or nine months. Agents need to become hybrid agents. You, you have the opportunities to do all these amazing things. So uh, again, lots, lots of opportunity there. 100%. Awesome. Stratton, uh, again, remind us about the date. We don't quite have a location, uh, but what, what's the date? Uh, what's going on in your world? All that good stuff. Tell us about your event as well. Uh, my event is on November 10th and 11th. I'm actually going to switch it to Fresno because I was looking at the logistics of making it to, from slow to Fresno uh, Saturday morning. It was going to be a nightmare. So my event will be um, November 10th and 11th in Fresno, California. It's a lot of direct one-on-one -on -one access to some of the speakers who will be there and learning how to grow your portfolio and grow your business from people who are real like seven and eight figure operators with really large portfolios, really good businesses. And how can you think better? How can you scale? Um, if you where are would somebody in, to go, yeah, sorry. Yeah. If you are interested, um, I mean, just reach out to me. 801-860-8032. I don't give out my email cause it's a bottomless pit and yeah. I'll never That's answer. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah, he's definitely I'll, a phone guy. Definitely a phone guy. <laughs> One more time. What's the number? <laughs> uh, my email is 801-860-8032. And I'm, if you need help with, let's see, wholesaling stuff, I can for sure help you with that. Same as Adam. And Ty can too. And then if you guys need virtual assistance, go to call yeah, Virtual assistant, call magicians. I mean, there are people getting deals left and right. Call magicians. I actually think call magicians, um, it's going to turbocharge business. And it, I might actually sign up for one um, because I just think there's the seller financing. I really want to buy a half a million dollar or above home in Fresno, which is above the median, turn it into a cash flow rental because of seller financing. I might need a virtual assistance because if there's 1,800 free and clear properties and just one zip code, I may need, I may need to spend some money. So we may have to talk about something. So um, again, vir, uh, what, where is it? Callmagicians.com? Callmagicians.com for virtual assistance. Yeah. Awesome. Carlos, going to you. We're going to close with Patrick. Uh, Carlos, one more time. People want quotes, help. Uh, where well, where do they go? Uh, yeah. Give me a call. You can go um, at 559-681-8431. 559-681-8431. And uh, you can also follow us on Instagram uh, and uh, TikTok. We also do social media. Listen, and what is that handle? Uh, at CMG uh, Services. And then the other one, uh, also online, you can also find us at uh, fresno-handyman.com. Awesome. Thanks, Carlos. Yeah. Thank you for everything. And sorry, again, I missed it last week. My bad. Oh, it don't worry about it, again. <laughs> And Patrick, you're going to bring us home. Yeah, it's a great URL. Patrick, yeah, so you tell guys can, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. You guys can reach me at, I'm giving you, giving you guys my easier email address and I'll respond to you with my personal. It's uh, pkim, so Patrick Kim, pkim at guarantee.com. And when I respond to you, my cell phone will be in that signature. So you guys can reach out to me there. Folks, again, I really want to get 10 people, FHA, House Hack, VA. I want to... I want to help you. I don't. And again, you can have an agent. I'm not trying. I don't have a brokerage. That's not who I am. I want to get your story documented. I want to unleash my amazing network in Fresno and around the country to help you document the story. 
get you to the finish line or not for whatever reason so we can help more and more people. Please, if you don't have an agent, reach out to PKIM at guarantee.com. Get in the mix, get scheduled, figure out what's going on. Let's get some stories. Let's help others win. Guys, the hub is going to help a lot of people. All of you are going to make it happen. Thank you for being a part of this every Monday. Uh, I appreciate you. You have no idea. Have a wonderful week. Bye.